Today we're conducting an attack utilizing a uh, tank platoon from the Americans of Abrams and a uh, tank platoon from the Danish, their Leopards. At the beginning of any mission, there is a clear and concise plan of how the mission will play out. Every move is meticulously orchestrated. The real purpose of having a competent and adaptive OP4 element is so that we can increase the realism in any training environment so that we're not fighting against a script. During this opposition forces training, if there had been a script, they could have just thrown it out the gunner's hatch. The great thing about working with other nations in the same MOS as us is the fact that we know what each other are talking about. Far from getting stuck in the swamps of muddy language. If the tank is stuck, we know, hey, we gotta get this and this. And regardless of the language barrier, we still have an idea, we, we know exactly what they're talking about or what we're talking about. There we go, it's hooked up. We make a lot of benefits for this, just to say, okay, next time we're on the on track, we know how the Americans gonna work, and we know the terms they're using, what they mean. Keeping their tanks and their mission on track, nothing can get in the way of this coalition force. Uh, the biggest benefit is, uh, is showing not only to the Americans, but also the Danes, uh, the Polish soldiers that we've worked out here with, uh, the Germans that are here, and uh, the French that we've worked with also, is that we, this can happen. This can positively uh, happen and will work. And uh, that's what we're proving, is that no matter what, our coalition will come together and we will succeed. Staying on track no matter what swamp areas or field flames are shot their way. From the Drosko Pomorski Training Area, Poland, I'm Senior Airman Stephen Atkins.